Welcome to this JasperSolve report video tutorial series. In this video, we're going to demonstrate on how to customize your report using styles with conditional expression. So now, without any further ado, let's get started. To start with, I'll be creating a new project. To do that, you need to click Compile, click New, and click project and from this section here I'm going to uh, select this Jasper Self Studio then we need to click Jasper Reports project hit next so from here I'm going to name this one as my orders and finish Okay. Also, from that project, we're going to create a Jasper report. So by clicking new, okay. So by clicking new, now for this demo, I'll be using this blank equal uh, so that we have a clean demonstration on how to use styles. So if you're okay with that, click next, then pick the project. I'm going to pick this my orders, then next. Then for now, uh, I will be better to use the, the one that we have uh, from last preview. So just for now, we're going to click this as finish. Okay, now if you watch my second video regarding uh, connections, we prepared that in this sample TP. So, for those who uh, missed that uh, tutorial, uh, stop uh, post this video for a while and head back to the lesson two. So, from here, let's review that connection. I'm going to click edit adapter. As you can see, this is our sample connections. Now, for a demonstration, uh, I'll be using this database, DB sample. Now, as you recall, uh, this is our database, DB sample. But this time, I'll be using this table, this orders table. So, this orders table has these uh, four fields to be exactly five. With ID, order uh, order date, product ID, quantity, customer ID. So this, these are the uh, data that we're going to use in our report. So again, so this, if all the connection here is okay, just click finish. Okay. From our reports, uh, Okay, I'm going to change this uh, report name. If you want to change the name of your report, we're well, we going to simply change that in here, report name. So instead of uh, by blank A4, going to name this as orders, or just simply orders. Okay, now <clears throat> from our orders, we're going to perform our or set up our data set and query. So by right click on the orders, then click data set and query. Okay. Let's move that a little closer. Okay. So make sure you select the data adapter here. But this is the connection that we need. Then going to pick that database. Okay. and from our table and there you go so for this demonstration uh since i be working on different table i'll be picking this select orders so to do that we need to perform a select query here in this section here so you need to know the basic query for this one you need to type select all from orders 
once you select the query or uh, fill out the query just click this read fields once there's no error make sure that information display, uh, displays in this section here now if everything is okay just click okay very good so once you finish that all the fields will be available in this section here now let's go back to our report from our report uh last time i explained this some of the sections but for this demonstration i'll be picking up only the important sections so for this one i'll suggest to I'm going to remove this title so to do that you can simply delete it from here okay also we're going to remove our uh, this three section here it's a column footer page footer and summary so just for now we won't be we won't be needing that so i need to delete the summary page footer and column footer okay good now okay so we have now a clean uh start up here so take note we only have page header column header and detail sections so let's pull out our informations from here so let's start with the date make sure to drag it on the detail section uh simply because uh, the detail sections is the one who populates the data although you can put that in other sections but later on the demo uh, we're going to demonstrate that as well but for now we just focus on the detail section okay so let's complete this one product id quantity okay so let's put this a little closer make sure you place that somewhere in between this line between the border so that this will uh this is the this is the fixed positions for that once you make some gaps uh, that's the time it will make some weird display so make sure you place that in the raw correct position okay and the last one oh yeah so everything is okay so let's center these things you can press control so that you can grab that as one and remove everything to the center there same goes here okay so from here we're going to uh, customize this first so that we have a presentable view so let's say uh, i'm going to pick Arial. then Going to set this as 11 or make it 16. I right, good. Then let's make all of these to be center. And there's a section here. So also we're going to uh, put it in the middle. Good. So that's it. So same goes. I need to move this a little closer. Okay. So if you preview this one. So, okay. so this is what happened if you place some a, a gap. So make sure we need to compress all the rows. So to fix that, we need to go back to our design. The reason that is because we have a huge gap here. So make sure we compress that data or that sections so that it will display in compressed mode. Uh, okay, so let's try. And there you go. Okay, so we need to customize this uh, a little bit more because there is a bunch here that is not presentable. Okay, so let's go back to our design. Okay, 
So same goes here. We're going to maybe this one. Going to send center these two. Okay. Also I'm going to increase or change the font here. So let's say uh, calibre. Uh the size of well. So here you're going to change this to order deep. This one should be product ID. The last one got to change this to quantity. So uh, let's preview that. And there you go. So the date here is still compressed. So let's readjust this one. Same goes here. Uh, for you, uh, for you guys, I'll prepare this uh, sample query so that you can follow along with the information that I'm using here. So I'm going to paste the query command or the query script on the description below, so you can copy that and follow this video alone. Okay. Now, okay. So what are the things we need to do first? Okay, I'm going to finalize this first, so I, I want to make it more presentable. From here, uh, we can pick one of the basic elements here. It's like you're doing some Microsoft uh, presentation or any presentation that you have. So you can pick any from the elements here. So let's say I'm going to pick this static. Okay. And we do some basic stuff here. So let's say this is order details okay so i'm going to change that to mm, let's see ah that's good okay we just stick to the area i think that's the uh, most common area block okay so for the size, going to pick this to 20. Let's make it. Okay. So going to center this one. Okay. So I'll preview. Okay. There you go. Okay. So good so that's it so that's the first part now that from these sections we're going to start uh, applying the styles so what i'm planning to do here is we need to create a alternate color blocks here there are so many ways to do this but for this demonstration uh, i'll be using the style conditions so to start with uh okay okay so to begin this one here for that to take effect make sure you select styles okay so if you follow now so the styles is the responsible for the design or any conditional format that you want although we can customize these in the in the properties but if for some case we need to do it automatically so that we don't need to worry for certain area that we want to display or be creative. Okay, so let's start with this style. So click the styles here and right click and click this create styles. So for this style here, I'm going to change this first. Let's say So, okay, here. so 
to change the name, I'm going to name this tile. So I'm going to change this as I'm going to name this as alternate style. Okay. So our target is we're going to create a uh, alternate color. So to do that, we need to emphasize the alternate preview in here. So let's say the first block or second block will be colored. Uh, so every alter rows will be colored accordingly. So that's the reason we're going to do this right now. So here, we want to need another stop here. So right click on the on this one that we already created, then and click create conditional style. Okay. So take note that's the create conditional style uh, style. So from here, we want to click the advanced. Now, for the advanced, uh, make sure you are on the conditional expression. Uh, I'm going to move this a little closer. Okay. So, under conditional style here, pick the conditional expression. So, this will, this is, this is the area where you're going to apply the conditions. So let's apply for that. Okay, now what are the requirements for this one? So I already prepared the scripts for that. For that to take effect, uh, we need to add this code. Okay, so don't you worry. Uh, we're going to paste that as well in our description. So what it does is in every report count. Okay. So which means all the, the data within the report it will convert or uh, convert that into mode two. So that will represent this percent two. So which means you can say every event or even like that. So this will, will take effect. So take note, the conditions only applies for these certain uh, conditions, I mean, styles. What I mean is, Okay, if we're going to kick finish this, okay, let me explain further. This conditional, this conditional style, the reason for this one is this is where we're going to set up our command. So whatever operation will perform by this one will apply to our styles. Now, how are we going to uh, apply this in our report? Now, I already start uh, modify the conditional expression. Okay, this is the section here. So this indicates that whenever it counts, whenever it, uh, whenever the value is equals zero, so this is the mode count. So this will trigger. Now what what element or what other things that should be take effect? So here. I would prefer to change the back color. So take note, we're still on this conditional format here. So I want to change the back color. So let's say I'm going to select a yellow. Oh. All right, that's it. There. Okay. Let's say. Um, Okay. Okay. So I'm going to pick this uh, color. So I'm going to apply back color for this certain color. So once the condition is met, this back color will take, uh, will apply to the style. Okay. Now, now that we're done with our style, so take note, we already finished on the style. The next thing is we're going to insert that or apply that in our reports. For my suggestion, I'm going to insert a rectangle image here, or rectangle component. I'm going to drag that here in the detail section. Okay, this will represent our alternate color. So, I'm going to be right here. There. Okay. Now to arrange this one, we have to right-click this one. 
and then tick the order and then set to back okay As of this moment, we don't have these styles yet. So if you're going to preview that, okay. So this is the presentation for our reports. So using the rectangle uh, elements, uh, this is a plain display. So what I want to do is uh, I want to perform an alternate color using the style that we created a while ago. So to do that. But first, I'm going to center this content. So I don't want to be displayed in this manner. Okay, just to make it more presentable. So I'm going to center this one. Okay. So let's preview once more. Okay, good. So this is good. Okay, so let's start. Okay. Okay. Now that we have prepared our plan on where to apply the style, so for me, I'm going to pick this rectangle uh, element. So, selecting the element that you want to apply the style, go to the, you can say, on the advanced section in the properties. Okay, I hope you can see that. Okay. So let's look for this style properties. So under graphic, there's a style. So I'm going to pick that. And then from here, we're going to pick the name of our style. So that is alternate style. Okay. So once you pick that, so we... Okay. So we suppose that this will be take effect now. So let's try once more. And there you go. Good. Okay. There you go. So that's it, guys. There's a many tons of ways to do this. But for our basic presentation, we can only give you an idea on how to use style. So on the later part, okay. On our later part, uh, we can customize this uh, further. So uh, you can enhance this more using the style that we built in a while ago. So also, if you have some questions, you can comment down below on how to perform this one. And also, I'm going to pull, uh, post all the scripts that are detailed in this demonstration. Okay? So that's it, guys. If you found this... Oops. Yes. Okay. Okay. So if you found this video informative, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. See you guys on next video series. Cheers.